Hey guys, Jeff from Lead Ammunition here. Let's talk red dot sights for the 5.7 pistol. Okay, you basically have two versions out there. Uh, no matter how they're repackaged and sold to you, these are your two basic versions. All right, the first version is uh, Rob from 5.7 red dot sight dot com. Uh, this is his site. Uh, his site and my site, Elite Sites, were both developed about the same exact time, about seven years ago for the USG. In fact, I originally had one of his very first prototype sites that I was test fitting on a USG at the time. All right, differences here. This is Rob's. Uh, basically, you have a plate with the side on top of it. Now, this is as low as it can go because of the design of the 5.7 slide. You cannot mill down into the slide. All right, this is really nice if you really want the nice low red dot sight and be able to carry it day to day like the magazine writers tell you you need to do. And you know I think it's stupid bullshit, but anyhow. All right, uh, the one issue with this sight, and this is what it looks like from the rear, is that it is sight specific. You, you have to get the plate from him on his website to fit the sight that you want to use. Now, my version, I went down a little different track. If you look at mine, this is just a base here. Uh, this is higher than his. Okay, uh, my base is higher than his. Uh, the difference is, though, with my base, my base is a section of small Picatinny rail. I don't know how well this is showing here. So it is not site specific. The only thing that limits you as to what site to use on my site base is the weight of the site. There are some larger aim point micros years ago somebody tried to use. It was too heavy. It's not going to work. Uh, 2.5 ounces is, is the limit, which is the average weight of a uh, Red Dots RMR site, Burris, whatever, including mount. Uh, the other differences with mine, as you can see here, there's a channel machined down the center. Mine has backup iron sights. You can see these dots here. These dots are milled into the uh, uh, aluminum of the slide. They're seen seed in there after the uh, mill spec hard anodizing has been placed upon the uh, rail. This makes for iron backup sights. Now you can actually see through the channel and see the front blade with most red dot sights installed. It's really cool. Uh, I went that route. One of the reasons why I went that route is anybody who knows, anybody who's watching my videos, you know how I feel about fucking electronics, on, uh, especially on handguns. They usually fuck up at the worst possible damn time. Well here in an emergency, not only can you look through here, you have a sight uh, in case your uh, red dot sight screws up, you can just hit the quick release, pop your red dot sight off, and still at least have a hard iron sight backed up. So again, here's what they look like side to side. Again, Rob's is lower. Rob's is a very high quality device. Um, this I've installed them before on customers' guns. Now, installation. Both of these, including however this gets sold to you repackaged, replace the adjustable portions of your rear sight. Now, uh, Elite Ammunitions, if you buy the mini slide mount from EA, uh, you can, uh, we will install your red dot, uh, we will install the base, red dot site, and laser bore sight it for free. You just pay shipping round trip. This is kind of a nice sweet deal. You don't have to dick with it or anything. Uh, you can pay for it, throw your slide in the box, uh, uh, throw your red dot in the box, ship it to me, we take care of it, put it together. Now, Rob's, I will install Rob's also. Uh, Rob's though, uh, for him, again, same thing, uh, you send the slide to me, uh, you can contact us ahead of time uh, for the custom work, you send the slide, you send your base, you send your red dot, you send it to me, you pay shipping round trip, okay, I will install it, I will install the site, and I will laser bore site for $85, it's your standard shop ticket, alright, and then you get it all done. Uh, we are talking, I'm talking to Rob right now, I've known Rob for quite some time, and we, 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 we usually talk about once every uh, month or two or so months, you know, whenever we're playing around new stuff. Uh, I am looking at stocking some of Rob's uh, bases on Elite Ammunition's website. Uh, with the installation fee and everything built into it, it is a nice package. You buy the base, uh, you get the installation and everything, you send your slide in, it gets taken care of, slide comes back to you, and I'm going to do that option with him. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, those are your two basic ways. And if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please feel free to give me a holler. Again, here's our two sites. Like I said, fairly obvious, Rob's is lower, but I've got the perk of the backup iron sights, and the ability to use any of the uh, small red dots out there. Again, uh, Jay from Elite Ammunition. I hope everybody has a nice day. <laughs>